call the reorganization meeting of the town of Centerville Town Council to order. I'd ask that everybody rise for a, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence after that. So let me know when everybody's ready. Yep, we're ready. Okay, I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. You can be seated. All right. The next up is the review and acceptance of the October 1st, 2020 Town Council meeting minutes. I'll make a motion that we approve the Town Council uh, minutes from October 1, 2020 as presented. Okay, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I call upon, or what, excuse me, we have a citizen's forum. Does anybody have any comments they want to make at the citizen's forum? Don't see anybody, don't see anybody raising any their hands. hands. Do we have any email comments come in? No. No, no email comments. Okay. I call upon Carolyn Brinkley to give a report of the Board of Supervisors of Elections. To the Honorable Town Council of Centerville, Maryland, we hereby certify that on October 5th, 2020, an election was held for the purpose of electing four town council members, two for a three-year term, two for a two-year term. The election was held at the Queen Anne's County Office Building, 110 Vincent Drive, Vincent Street, Centerville, Maryland. There were nine candidates, Dale F. B. Craft, Shelby Brown, Robert R. Hardy Jr., Jeffrey D. Keel, Stephen K. Klein, Fred M. McNeil, Ann Lane, George C. Sigler, and Daniel B. Worth. The polls were open from new, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Jim Watson and Nancy Weeble conducting the election. Votes were cast by handwritten ballots. There were 2,872 votes recorded. 2,188 votes were cast in person and 684 absentee ballots were submitted, absentee votes. Of the, absent, of the total ballots cast, there were two provisional ballots and one spoiled ballot. Dale F. B. Craft received 186 votes. Shelby Brown received 366 votes. Robert R. Hardy Jr. received 414 votes. Jeffrey D. Keel received 381 votes. Stephen Klein received 394 votes. Fred McNeil, 280 votes. Ann Lane, 205. George Ziegler, 334, and Daniel B. Worth, 312. From the uh, Board of Supervisors of Election, Jim Watson and Nancy Weevil. Okay. Um, Jim Watson, John B. Skid, and Nancy Weevil are the members of the Board of Supervisors of Elections, and we would like to thank them for their service. I now ask the Queen Anne's County Clerk of the Court, Catherine Hager, to come forward and swear in Robert Hardy Jr., Stephen K. Klein, Jeffrey D. Keel, and Shelby Brown. Good evening, everyone. My name is Catherine Hager, Clerk of the Circuit Court for Queen Anne's County, and it's such a great honor to be here tonight on this very historic evening of swearing in the new uh, town council members. And I'm, I'm pleased to see that QAC TV is here uh, recording this um, event. Um, they do a wonderful job for our county. So this evening, um, I'm not just swearing in just one new town council member as nor I normally do. Um, I'm not even doing two, not even doing three, but this time doing four new town council members. Um, I'm gonna swear you in each separately. You deserve your special moment. So ladies and gentlemen, the town of Centerville has cast their vote and you have been elected. So you will now be duly sworn. Um, I commend all four of you for stepping up and being selected to be the voice for the citizens. So if we could first have Mr. Robert R. Hardy Jr. Bob uh, Hardy, if you could come forward. Okay. <laughs> Please raise your right hand and repeat after me and insert your name after I. I. 
I, Robert R. Hardy Jr. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or precedent. Execute the office. Execute the office. A council member of the town of Centerville for Maryland. Of the council member council of the town of Centerville of Maryland. <laughs> According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And the laws of this state. Congratulations. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your own? Yeah, I did bring one. Thank you. And where do you find your name? Stephen K. Klein. You could please raise your right hand and repeat after me and insert your name after I. I. I, Stephen Kenneth Klein. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office. Execute the office. Of council member of the town of Centerville. Of council member of the town of Centerville. Maryland. Maryland. According to the Constitution. According According to the Constitution and laws of this state and laws of this state. Congratulations. <laughs> If you could please raise your right hand and insert your name after I. I. I, Jeffrey D. Keel. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. I and I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and, and laws thereof. And support the Constitution and the laws thereof. And that I will. And I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. Best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the prejudice. office. Execute the office. Of council member of the town of Centerville. Execute the office of the council member. Council of the town of Centerville. Maryland. Maryland. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And the laws of this state. Congratulations. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me and insert your name after I. I. I, Shelby Brown. Do swear. Do swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and judgment. To the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office. 
office. Execute the office. Of council member of the town of Centerville, Maryland. Of council member of the town of Centerville, Maryland. According to the constitution. According to the constitution. And laws of this state. And laws of this state. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So all the four uh, new members of the town council just signed the clerk's test book. And the clerk's test book is an important document that is preserved um, over the years. It goes back to um, the beginning of the courts from early 1800s. Um, we have them at the Maryland State Archives. Those old test books that you can see, um, we're very proud of them. This is a newer one, so this one doesn't go back too far, just a couple of years, but we have, um, in our office, the ones in the last at least 25 years um, in our office, the rest are in Annapolis. So, um, so now you are in this clerk's test book for your children, your grandchildren, and their children, um, and so forth to see that um, you're, you're part in the community as council members. And also, I apologize for not um, um, say, say, uh, addressing you as your honors here and the honorable uh, Gary Hoffman our sheriff is here and police chief Joe Sabori I see is here also so I apologize for that I should have um, mentioned that before I stood up here so okay <laughs> we forgive you thank you <laughs> <laughs> you'll get a ticket tomorrow <laughs> thank you all have a wonderful evening thank you thank you okay thank you miss hager um, i now call upon the town clerk to present the certificate certification of oath of administration so these um is Catherine's um certification of the oaths that the four council members just took so I will just read it once and read your names individually. Um, State of Maryland, County of Queen Anne's, I hereby certify that on this 15th day of October 2020, before me, the subscriber, the county clerk of said state and county personally appeared, Robert R. Hardy Jr., Stephen K. Klein, Jeffrey D. Keel, Shelby Brown, who made oath in due form of law that he could faithfully and diligently to the best of his judgment and ability perform the duties of council member of the town of Centerville, Maryland in said state and county without prejudice according to the acts of the Assembly of Maryland in such cases made and provided. Clerk of Circuit Court, Catherine B. Hager. All right, so next on the, on the agenda here, I, I, uh, it says that I say a few words to Jeff Morgan. Before we do that and before we let Jeff go, let's just have a round of applause for all the new council members. So normally during this time, the, uh, the council president would typically go and sit, sit in the audience. And uh, since we're not able to do that tonight, Jeff, before you do leave, I just had a couple of things I, I did want to say. Uh, and, I, and we do have a presentation for you, so you're not going to actually be able to get it tonight. But I'll put it up here so everybody can kind of take a look at it as well, and hopefully it won't fall. Um, <laughs> and I think that you can get this when you turn in your town key. So there'll be a, there'll be a swapping of those. Uh, <laughs> So beyond, uh, on behalf of the town of Centerville, I want to present our outgoing retiring council president, Jeff Morgan, with a gift. This gift serves two purposes. It will symbolically open any door in Centerville, and it will actually open any bottle of beer. So if you see Jeff coming with this key in his hand, uh, hopefully you'll have a six pack with you. I just want to give a very brief summary of, of Jeff's time on the council and some of his accomplishments. He was elected in April of 2017. In 2018, Jeff was elected council vice president. And in 2020, he was elected council president. He got right to work in the middle of a budget cycle. And actually, Jeff acknowledged that it was an awkward time because uh, coming in and getting elected and immediately going into the middle of a budget cycle, he actually came up with the idea to move the election outside of the middle of the cycle, thereby enabling new council members to come up with, up to speed before having to decide on the most consequential of council decisions. And we're going to witness that here when, with our new council coming in. Our budget cycle is going to start in the, in the early spring. Uh, this will certainly be helpful in the upcoming budget cycle. Since 2017, the town has received or been approved for over $500,000 in grants to improve the wharf park. Jeff was instrumental in creating and funding the budget line item for the sidewalk and trail fund, which will continue to improve the pedestrian bike paths, 
throughout the town for generations to come. Jeff was involved in hiring two police chiefs, Ken Rhodes, who recently retired, and Joe Sabori, our, our current chief, as well as our current finance officer, Karen Luffman. Jeff helped to negotiate and approve the cable franchise agreement with Atlantic Broadband, and Jeff supported the special election vote to allow the investment fund to be spent to finance the Liberty and Commerce infrastructure project. Jeff worked to lower the municipal tax rate, as well as increase the county tax differential, thereby reducing the property tax burden throughout Centerville. Jeff worked to increase the procurement policy limit from 5,000 to 10,000, enabling our administration and staff to more efficiently respond to purchasing demands. Jeff was instrumental in the approving, uh, in approval of transfer of low interest bearing savings into high interest bearing savings, thereby producing considerable non-tax revenues for the general fund. Street improvements that were done under Jeff's uh, term include Happy Lady Lane, Church Lane, Pennsylvania Avenue, Final Paving, and the Kidwell Avenue Final Paving. And certainly last but not least, as I'm sure we all can remember, Liberty and Commerce Street with a 100-year-old infrastructure replacement, which was literally the largest infrastructure replacement project the town has undertaken in recent and middle recent and any time in history anybody can remember. Growth has happened uh, here within Centerville during Jeff's tenure. Uh, there was over 300, there were 355 approved building permits and 255 approved occupancy permits. In addition, during Jeff's tenure, the council passed 32 ordinances, including four annual budgets. And since 2017, the council passed 34 resolutions, including 15 charter amendments, and those uh, amendments which also helped to enable us to go from three to five seamlessly. Jeff conceived what, was, what would become last year's downtown appreciation day, special event presented on Small Business Saturday called Barksgiving. The shopping promotion included 14 participating merchants, a passport, demonstrations on the courthouse lawn, and Centerville Barks giving bucks. I wanted to provide a quote as well about local government. Uh, in local government, it's very clear to your customers, your citizens, whether or not you're delivering. Either that pothole gets filled in or it doesn't. The results are very much on display, and that creates a very healthy pressure to innovate. That quote actually comes from Pete uh, Budedjedj. Um, I believe that Jeff has produced results and then he's presented innovative ideas to improve local government. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, no elected official will ever accomplish everything they set out to, but Jeff can be proud of what he's accomplished on behalf of the citizens of the town of Centerville. And as we move to the portion of the night, which includes seating of the new council members, we demonstrate the ideals of the American experiment, the peaceful transition of power. And we reflect that in America, governments derive their powers from the consent of the governed. I believe that the citizens of Centerville will be served well by this incoming group of leaders, and I look forward to working with them. Jeff, best of luck in your future endeavors, and do you have anything you want to add? Yeah, thank you, Tim. Um, I enjoyed working with you and Jim. Um, we went through a lot of hard times in the town of Centerville in a short period. So hopefully I left the town in a better place than when, you know, when I got there. And I just want to thank everybody, and I also want to you know, thank the uh, four individuals that ran and we're elected to the office, and I wish them all the best. Thank you. So the next portion is we're going to seat the new council members. So, uh, Carolyn, do you have a, a way how this is going to work? Um, so, yeah, the, uh, there isn't necessarily a specific seat <laughs> order okay. until a president, vice president is elected. So they can kind of sit where they up there where they want. Sharon will move here. I'll move down. And then any other staff need members. One more chair, I think, over here. Yeah, I have it right here. Okay. Okay, Tim, I'm going to go ahead and drop off, and I'll be watching it on QATV. All right, sounds good, Jeff. Come by and pick up this uh, this key anytime. Okay, thank you. I don't know that we're going to be able to get six feet apart up here, but... Okay. So I'd like to congratulate the newly elected council members. I want to welcome them to the Centerville Town Council, and I want to ask if uh, any of them have any words they want to uh, provide an introduction of guests. We'll start down here with Mr. Klein. Sure, so thank you. I'm Steve Klein. It's an honor to be sitting here tonight. And I guess I just want to take a minute to say uh, thank you to my wife. Uh, it dawned on me as I was sitting in a meeting last night that there are plenty of nights where she's going to be doing all the work. So uh, with two kids at home, and uh, I love you. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, I do tie my own bow ties. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mr. Hardy? Good evening. I'd like to thank my wife, my campaign manager, my treasurer, 
the two other individuals, uh, they honor me by being here. Heather Eflin, uh, a former Queen Anne's County Teacher of the Year, and Jordan Dozier, the future of Queen Anne's County he represents. And I'm proud to say that there were a number of young people that supported me and was helping me uh, win the election. And you notice I had Robert R. Hardy, Jr. I feel very proud that my dad, he was there for me. He's passed, and I'm very proud to carry that name. And I thank everybody. Met the staff. Uh, what was that, Tuesday? Uh, I'm very happy that I'll be serving with them, with Tim, and hopefully I will listen, learn, and serve all the citizens of Centerville. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Keel? First, I want to thank my wife who supported me when I started this. She said, do you know what you're getting yourself into? <laughs> and, and I think so. So I want, to, I want to thank her. I want to thank Sheriff Hoffman. He supported me also. And my mom and Roger, they also supported me. And um, I look forward to serving the citizens of Centerville. I will tell you that you have no idea what you're getting into. <laughs> <laughs> and if Jeff was on the phone, he'd say the same thing. <laughs> Ms. Brown? Yes. I'd like to thank my husband, Ash, my parents, um, who are both here today for supporting me, always. Um, I'd like to thank all the residents of Centerville and all the voters who came out and showed their support for all of us. Um, and I would just like to say that I'm so excited for this opportunity, and I can't wait to uh, serve our community. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, moving along, um, is there a motion to elect the council president? I motion to elect Tim McCluskey as council president. Is there a second? Second. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 So moved. Thank you very much. I, uh, I really look forward to working with this council on behalf of the citizens of Centerville. Uh, this will actually be my fourth term as president. Uh, I appreciate the confidence in my fellow council members uh, to elect me to this position. Uh, is there a motion to elect the council vice president? Make a motion we nominate Steve Klein for vice president. Is there a second? A second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes. Congratulations, Mr. Vice President. Um, is there a motion to reappoint Sharon Van Emberg as the town attorney for the coming year? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Who said Any that? further discussion? Sorry, Steve. Okay, I've got to get used to everybody's yeah. voices. <laughs> <laughs> is there any further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Congratulations, Sharon. Uh, is there a motion to reappoint Karen Luffman as the finance officer for the coming year? Yes, I make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Got that, Carolyn? Mm -hmm. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Congratulations, Karen. Uh, the council member serving on the Town of Centerville Planning and Zoning Commission shall be Council Member McCluskey. The council member serving on the Town of Centerville Parks Advisory Board shall be Council Member Brown. Council member serving on the Centerville Economic Development Authority shall be Council Member Klein. And the council member representing the Town of Centerville on the Queen Anne's County Government Council of Governments shall be council member Keel. We now move on to the citizens forum portion of the evening. Are there any citizens that have an interest in speaking? And I will say that, uh, that I believe the way we're gonna, we're gonna do this in the upcoming uh, year, and it's one that we've done in the past, is we will make every effort, if you have a question, if citizens have a question, to answer those questions. If it's an extensive question, then we will, uh, you know, we will ask that we'll email it back, or if it's something of a technical nature. But we would do encourage uh, citizens to come up and, and provide, uh, provide comments. So I'll open it up for any citizens who have any interest in coming up and speaking. Hearing none, we're gonna move on. Do any members of the council have any additional comments? Uh, Ms. Brown? No additional comments. Mr. Keel? No additional. Mr. Hardy? No additional comments. Mr. Klein? No, thank you. Do I hear a motion to adjourn the October 15th reorganization meeting? So moved. Is there second. a second? second? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you.